the Royal Ordnance L7 is the basic model of Britain's most successful tank gun. The L7 is a 105mm L-52 rifled design by the Royal Ordnance factories intended for use in armoured fighting vehicles, replacing the earlier 20-pounder, 84mm, tank gun mounted on the Centurion tank. The successful L7 gun has been fitted on many armoured vehicles including the British Centurion, starting from the Mk5 halves variant, the German Leopard 1 and early variants of the US M1 Abrams, M1 and M1 IP. The L7 is a popular weapon and continued in use even after it was superseded by the L11 series 120mm rifled tank gun, for some Centurion tanks operating as artillery forward observation and armoured vehicle, Royal Engineers, AVRE, vehicles. The L7, and adaptations of it, can be found as standard or retrofitted equipment on a wide variety of tanks developed during the Cold War. History Work on what became the L7 began in the early 1950s under armament research and development establishment at Fort Halstead with the first gun trials in mid-1956. Later that year during the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, a Soviet T-54A medium tank was driven onto the grounds of the British Embassy in Budapest by the Hungarians. After a brief examination of this tank's armour and 100mm gun, British officials decided that the 20-pounder was apparently incapable of defeating it. Hence there was a need to adopt a 105mm gun. The L7 was specifically designed to fit into the turret mountings of the 20-pounder. This would enable the Centurions to be upgunned with minimum modifications, hence, the fleet could be upgraded in a shorter time and at a lower cost. User trials of the weapon began in 1959. The first tank to be equipped with the L7 was a single uparmored Centurion Mark 7 in 1959 which was to prove the viability of uparmoring and upgunning the Centurion. From 1959 onwards existing Centurions were given upgrades with the L7 gun and armor and new builds incorporated the L7 at production. The gun was subsequently adopted by the German Leopard 1, for which the L7A3 variant was developed. The United States M60 series and earliest versions of the M1 Abrams are armed with the M68 gun, which was designed to fire the same ammunition as the L7. The M68 is also featured on the early Israeli Merkava, also the M68. The Swedish Stridsvan 103 turretless S-tank, armed with the Bofors L74 with an automatic loader, makes use of an indigenous gun design, which is compatible with rounds made for the L7. In addition, several countries have used the gun to improve the firepower of existing main battle tanks. Derivatives have even been mounted in Warsaw Pact built T-54 and T-55 tanks in Israel, India, Egypt and Iraq, and Type 79 tanks in China. Design The breech uses a horizontally sliding breech block for loading the fixed cartridge cases. The gun recoils approximately 29 cm, 11.5 inch, in most applications, automatically opening the breech and ejecting the empty cartridge case as the gun returns to battery from full recoil. The barrel of the L7 is fitted with a bore evacuator approximately halfway down its length. The extractor is eccentrically mounted, which is a key recognition feature, though not exclusively for this gun, since its successor, the Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore tank gun also features the cylindrical, eccentric extractor. Specification Caliber, 105mm, 4.13 in Cartridge, 105x607mmr, 105x617mmr Barrel length, 52 calibers Weight, 1,282 kg, 2,826 pounds Length, 5.89m, 19 feet 4 in Rate of fire, 10 rounds per minute, maximum. Ammunition. APDS. APERST, Anti-Personnel Tracer. APVSTS, 1475 M-S. Canister. Dummy. He, 1174 M-S. Heat. Hesh, 737 M-S. Smoke white phosphorus incendiary. 
Target practice. Target practice discarding Sabo. Variants. L7A1. Standard British production variant. L7A3. Variant for the, West, German Leopard 1 MBT. The upper rear corner of the breech block reduced in size so gun can be depressed without hitting the turret roof. M68, T254 E2. United States built gun for the M60 Patton. Initially designated as the T254 E2, it is a variant of the indigenous US 105mm T254. Unlike the 105mm T254, its tube was interchangeable with that of the British X15 E8. It retains the round breech with a vertically sliding breech block of the T254 and initially used a concentric bore evacuator, which was later replaced with an eccentric bore evacuator. Also used on the M1 Abrams up until its replacement by the M256 on the M1A1. Used on Israeli tanks up until the Merkava 3. Turkish license built versions by MKEK under the designation of M68T for the 90mm armed M48 took place in the 1980s. The US M68 is also fitted to the M1128 mobile gun system, MGS, version of the Stryker 8x8 wheeled combat vehicle. M68A1 E4. Variant of the US M68 designed for use on the Stryker MGS, fitted with an automatic loader. KM68A1. Republic of Korea Army's license produced variant of the American M68 gun. Used on. M48A5K and K1 tanks. Type 8183. Chinese copies of an L7 supplied by Austria. FMK.4 Modelo 1L. Argentine Army's license produced by Fabricaciones Militas in Argentina. Used on the TAM medium tank. Dinal GT7. South African built variant for the Oliphant MK1A and Ruikat 105. Incorporates a heavily modified recoil assembly. Usage. Centurion. And derivatives such as Oliphant. EET-1 Osorio. Leopard 1. M1 Abrams in early models, the M1 and M1 IP models. M47 Patton in some upgraded variants, examples, Spanish M47E1 and M47E2. M48 Patton in some upgraded variants, M48A5, Israeli rebuilt M48S, etc. M60 Patton tank. M1128 mobile gun system. K1 Type 88. Merkava IN2. Of 40. CM11 Brave Tiger. PZ61 and PZ68. Stingray light tank. STRV103. T54 in several upgraded variants. For example Israeli Tehran 4SH. T55 in several upgraded variants, for example Egyptian and Israeli modified T55S. TAM medium tank. Type 74 Japan. Maneuver combat vehicle Japan. Vickers MBT. VJ Antat. Ram Seas 2. Chinese Type 88 tank. Chinese ZTD-05 light tank. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.